Today's video is brought to you by Card Kingdom. So, uh, transmogrify. You know, human sacrifice. <laughs> Hoof! There it definitely is! Sahili! You might as well become a hoof. Uh, attack you for a hundred ish. <laughs> Hello, everyone. It's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Much Brew About Nothing. And this week, we're checking out more sweet Jumpstart stuff in historic and this deck is pretty sweet i'm calling it luca hoof it's basically a gruel token transmogrify slash luca and a crater hoof hopefully win the game on turn four deck that's our plan we're like an all-in combo deck essentially so let's talk about the deck jump right into the game starting with the reason we're playing this deck a new addition to historic and arena from jumpstart crater hoof behemoth which is just one of the most insane finishers in all of magic for decks that can go wide with creatures when it comes into play all your creatures get plus X plus X in Trample, where X is the number of creatures you control. So if you have four or five creatures, or ten creatures on the battlefield, Crater of just tramples over and wins the game. It is absolutely insane at closing out the game. And in our deck, it's pretty easy for us to turn this into a turn four kill, which is pretty fast for a format like Historic. So what are we doing with Crater Hoof? And the answer is, we're not getting up to eight mana and casting it fairly. Instead, we are looking to use Transmogrify, or secondarily Luca to turn a token into Crater Hoof Behemoth. So in our deck, the only actual creature is Crater Hoof Behemoth. So we know that if we transmogrify or Luca something, we're gonna hit Crater Hoof 100% of the time. So how do we make a bunch of creatures and not actually have any creatures in the deck? And the answer here is a bunch of token producers. We have Dragon Fodder, Forbidden Friendship, Sabberling Migration, they're all basically the same card in our deck. Just two mana, sorcery speed, put two one ones on the battlefield. Goblin Gathering, a little bit worse in general, I think, three mana for two one ones, but additional copies do get better with an extra token. So these cards, what we really want to do is over the first two turns of the games, cast two of these cards to lead up to our Crater Hoof turn. We also have a couple of three mana planeswalkers that make tokens. Sahili doesn't do anything by itself, but as we cast our Dragon Fodders and random spells, even Transmogrify, we get a Servo token out of the mix, and then it can do cool shenanigans once we Crater Hoof. If we're a little short of lethal, we can turn a Servo into another crater hoof we don't get to enter the battlefield trigger but we still get like a massive trampling creature to win the game we also have tibble and tibble mostly is just like a weird token producer it's kind of goblin gathering would suspend <laughs> we get a token when it comes into play with a negative two the next turn we get negative two again so over the course of two turns we do get two one one tokens also randomly hoses like soul sisters and so forth so what is the idea of this deck and why are we playing this deck and the answer is just picture this pretty typical draw with the deck so turn two we dragon fodder or any of our two mana token producers turn three we cast another one separately migration any of them doesn't matter this will give us four one ones on the battlefield when we go into turn four turn four we transmogrify one of those tokens it turns into a crater hoof of the three tokens and a crater hoof that means four creatures. That means our 1-1 one, one tokens become 5-5s five, five to trample. Our crater hoof becomes a 9-9 nine, nine, when trample. That is 24 trampling damage coming across on turn four, theoretically just winning the game. Yes, maybe our opponent can chump block and stay alive at like one life and have their board wrath, but that's fine. We still have the tokens. We still have crater hoof, so we win the next turn. But very often when we have this draw, which isn't even a long shot, it's what our deck is designed to do, we just win the game on turn four with crater hoof behemoth. Otherwise, souls here little bit of removal, hits Planeswalkers, hits Creatures, mana base wise, bunch of dual lands, so basic lands in the sideboard. Uh, one of the cards that can really hose our deck is Graft Digger's Cage because it fizzles Transmogrify, getting our Crater Hoof, so Will answers that. Chandra, uncounterable for the control matchup, Flame Sweep, Shock, Soul Seer, more removal for Creature decks, Sorcerer Spyglass, good against Planeswalker, Soul Guide Lantern for Graveyard decks, and that is Luca Hoof for Historic. And that's our bunch of Brew deck for this week. So let's jump into some games, see if we can hoof some historic fools. Entre four, win some games. Thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoy it. And I'll be back in a bit with the wrap up. Today's video is brought to you by Card Kingdom. And right now you can get this sweet scoop soldier sticker when you order over at cardkingdom.com. Just mention in your order notes that you want a scoop soldier sticker when you go to check out. All right.
much ado about nothing time. We are historicing this week. We are playing some uh, some Luca Hoof. Ooh, Yariane. Yeah, let's mulligan that. All right, this this will keep. This could work. We'll put a hoof to the bottom. The only downside about this hand is we're a little light on tokens. Uh, paid it. Temple of Mystery. Sure. Um, well, Mountain and Dragon Fodder go. Forest for our bonnet. Grow Spiral, getting the ramp on. All right, Temple of Deceit. Sure. Eh, Souls here is not the best. Place a Healy, go attacking. So we still do need another land. Uh, paid it. Swamp. Krasis. Sure. Hmm. So if we go now, we'll have one, two, three creatures. Hoof will hit for eight. Eh, it's not quite lethal. We're going to wait one more turn. We're going to Soul Seer cross us, get a token. Next turn, we should have lethal. Hit our opponent. Oh, actually, could we have won there? Could we have turned a token into a hoof? Hmm. That might have actually been lethal. Uh-oh. I'm going to get yelled at. Was that lethal? So it had five? Huh. All right, opponent cultivates. Well, it should be lethal this turn regardless. Opponent, land, land. Yeah, gets the planes. And a mountain, plays a mountain. Bay of Wishes. All right, well, here we come. We draw a hoof, that's fine. Well, we will sac... No, 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 no. Uh, sacrifice a goblin. Transmogrify into crater hoof. And then Sahili. Do that. Attack ya, and that looks like game to me. <laughs> ah, hoof, there it is. And, uh, yeah, negative two. So I don't think it would have been lethal last turn, but, uh, <laughs> lethal this turn. <laughs> uh, all, right, all right, all right, So opponent, uh, playing something with a lot of colors and most likely controlling. Maybe we need the Chandras. Let's go down a Luka and go down a Soul Seer. Bring in the Chandras, run it like that. Well, I mean, that's what the deck's trying to do. That is the plan, that is the goal, that is the dream. It came together that time. Perhaps it turned slower than it could have been, but still, pretty impressively. Well, we can't keep this. Mulligan. Oh, God, that's the, that's the same exact hand. That is exactly the same hand. Uh, okay, Mulligan. Mulligan. Three cards to the bottom, eh? Well, land. Transmogrify. Land. Yeah, this is, uh, is going to be tough. We got three one-landers in a row somehow. Temple, scry. Eh, we'll keep the temple. I mean, we do need to get to four mana, find a trend Basmography, of which one is on the bottom. Land for our opponent. Well, stomping grounds and forbidden friendship. We'll go attacking. Island for our opponent. Teferi. I'll show Bounce is the token, sure. Might be a bad idea. Well, play the temple, scry. We'll keep it. Plays Hyperlink Migration. No kicker, unfortunately. Kill to Fairy. So we do need another land, and we also need to dodge Ras. So Ras here would be really bad. Opponent. I feel the run. Gonna make a shuffle. Yeah. All right. Well, there goes Transmogrify. Grab a mountain. Opponent passes. Well, play a mountain. Go to combat. Attack ya. Goblin Gathering. Pass the turn. Field of the Dead. Migration's path. Well, we gotta draw Transmogrify. Opponent's gonna start making zombies. Yeah. Well, we need Transmogrify and we win. That's a land. Well, Sapling Migration. Well, this is bad now. Now our opponent's making zombies. Ugh. Yeah. Well, we were on the mold of four. Opponent. And now our opponent's making zombies and presumably can leave up counter spells. Cultivate makes zombies. Yeah. And makes a zombie. That's a lot of basics. And a grazer. I mean, if we get a hoof, our opponent's still dead, even after all this. Well, come on. Come on, deck. You can do it. You can do it. We can beat this. It's a land. I'll play the land past the turn. Eh, maybe we can't. If we don't draw Transmogrify or Luka, then we just do nothing. We got one more turn. We take our beats this turn. After we have to start jump blocking, then it's, uh, then it's pretty over. Crosses. All right, this is it. This is the turn to draw it. It all comes down to exactly this turn. Luca, Transmogrify, we win. Anything else, we scoop. Yeah, get in there. We'll take it. I mean, one draw step. What does the top of our deck say? Hoof. All right. I mean, hoof is what we wanted, but we can't do it. Uh, we can't do it that way. All right. Well, that was a mold of four, and we were still 
we were still top decking for a chance to win the game on the Moldavor. So that is uh, that is the good news of that scenario. We were so ridiculously close. All right, we get to play first. Uh, eh, we'll keep this. We got some token production. We got our fight through counters finisher. We do not have a transmogrify, but we do have a million scry land. So maybe we'll find one. Temple scry. Um, yeah, we're just we're gonna scry everything that's not a. Not a way to put Hoof into play to the bottom. Ah, Burial Grazer. Our opponent's getting their ramp on. Yep. That's Transmogrify. Oh, land and Dragon Fodder. Pass the turn. Gross Spiral for our opponent. Draws a card. Finds a land. Puts it into play. And a land. Oh, play the land. Dragon Fodder bottom. Now we actually kind of want to untap land. Sapperling Migration. Go attacking. Opponent blocks down to 17. I mean, if we draw an untap land... And Transmogrify resolves. We just win this turn. Turn four kill. Opponent. All right. Untap land, please, magic gods. Let us close it out while the shields are down. <laughs> Avril Grazer could try to stop it, but I don't think it's going to work. I don't think it's going to work. Opponent, sure. That's untap land. Stopping grounds. Untapped. That looks like a turn four kill to me. Yeah. Sag you. Come to us, Hoof. Pump the darks. Make them huge. Swing. And turn four kill. Turn four kill. That is what Hoof can do. And, yeah, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Whoo. <laughs> oh, when it works, it's spectacular. Yeah, that was sweet. That was super sweet. All right. Much boo about nothing time. We are, ooh. We're uh, hoofing around in Historic. Crater Hoof uh, tokens. All right, opponent's on Elves. This will be interesting. So our opponent presumably will not have removal, but they can make a lot of blockers. This is going to be very interesting. Opponent hits us. Do any insulate. Yeah. Well, land and Sapperling migration. Tokens. Force our opponent. All right, Lord number one. Yeah, no blocks. Down to 12. And another Allosaurus Shepherd. Hmm. Let's look. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Let's just make goblins. I mean, we're playing. We're playing for the win. We're playing for the win. The problem is, if our opponent has another Lord, we got a chump block, and then we don't get to win. Yeah. Down to three. Steel Life Channel. Me own. Is that enough to keep our opponent alive? We're about to find out. It might be. Transmogrify, Crater Hoof, Grow em. I think our opponent managed to play a big enough dork to stay alive. We have 9, 24. Oh, not, they don't. They don't, they don't. Oh, opponent. I, they did, but they did block right. Okay. Well, uh, we will accept <laughs> We will accept that. Flame Sweeps in. Shocks in. Soul Sears in. Tybalt's out. Actually, maybe we go uh, Chandra. Tybalt's out. Sahili's out. We do need all of our token producer. We can go down Luka. We can go down Luka. Ugh, maybe we go. Maybe we go seven all together. And we'll go three souls here, because we do need to keep producing tokens for our plan to work. So cutting too much token stuff is risky. Uh, maybe we don't go Chandra's. Maybe we keep the Tybalt's. All right, let's uh, let's try it like that. Oh wait, hang on. Um, hmm. I guess we can go down Hoof. In theory, you probably only need to play two hoofs, but I like the possibility of being able to hard cast it in some matchups. And there is a risk that you draw all of them and then our deck does nothing, so. Uh, okay. I actually like this hand. We're gonna need more token production. However, two shocks uh, are pretty good at keeping the elves in line. And many of our cards produce tokens, so we should find it eventually. Opponent Forest and Lenore Elves. Well, shock one. Uh, opponent, Garen Brig, visionary. Yeah, I'm gonna play the land and dragon fodder. Do any insulate, making some dorks. Ooh, well, flame sweep is a nice get out of jail free card if things go wrong. Oh, we just need a land and we're pretty close to winning. Soul seer. All right, no attacks. I guess everyone needs lands at the moment. Opponent, Allosaurus Shepherd. I'll play Tybalt. Mega token. Well, if we ever draw this land, we should just win on the spot. That's going to be a spectacular hoof. Ooh, opponent hits the land. Okay, okay. 
And there's a Lord. Yeah. Gonna kill Tibalt. Sure. That's fine. Come on, land! Come on, land! And we got the... Oh, flame sweep. Hmm. Well, shock and parry is perfect. Go attacking. We'll leave the devil back. We really just need to draw land. That is that is it. Like, we draw land, we win the game. Opponent, and parry's perfect. I really don't want to flame sweep away our board, but... Um... I think we block with the devil. We drop to 11. This lets us kill Allosaurus Shepherd. We still have lethal if we draw land. All right, tap land. All right, so next turn, I guess. Luca bottom. All right, pass the turn. Do we want to attack? What's the worst they could do? So we kill this. Opponent goes Lord, Lord. That would be four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so we will actually attack Soul Seer. Pass the turn. And all right, opponent, you better have something good because the hoof is coming for you. Opponent gets in. Yeah, we'll take it. Sadly for our opponent, and thankfully for us, it's hoof time. Uh, yes, we will sack you, goblin. Hoof, there it is. Grow the dorks. They are massive. We attack you, and our opponent dies. <laughs> Got him! Oh, Hoof is still insane. It is still insane. It is still insane. All right. That went well. Rank it up, rank it up with Hoof. Yeah, there it is. All right. Much brew about nothing time. We are hoofing it up in Historic. We don't need more tokens. We need Transmogrify and another land. Opponent explores. Alright, so opponents are getting their ramp on. Well, land and forbidden friendship. We got tons of token production. We don't have a way to get a hoof, though. Uh, opponents are really rampant. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Sure. That is concerning. Opponent getting some lands. Uh, well, play a land. Goblin gathering. Go attacking. Uh, boot it. Hopefully, you don't have a wrath. All right, more, oh boy. So the problem here is gonna be, if they have Ugin, Ugin is GG. Get some lands. More lands. Um, well, forbidden friendship. Go tagging. Opponent's down to 10. Grow spirals, draws a guard, no land. To fairy, okay. Right and a land, picks up. Oh, I've done the well, go to combat. Tag our opponent. Oh, really? Well, that's... That's, uh, that's bad news. Bad, bad news. Opponent. Land. And... Crosses. Yeah, well, we had a good run, but, uh... We did not find our payoffs this game, which is a bit of a risk. Well, make some tokens. Go loose. And our opponent had Languish. Starts making zombies. And a land. And a zombie. And explore. And a zombie. Oh, no zombie. And a land and a zombie. Alright, there's a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, and cultivates and zombies. Well, we're gonna have to hit this uh, transmogrify pretty quick here. Bone, it hits us down to 11. Like, this turn, actually. Luca. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Well, dragon fodder. Sapperling migration. No attacks. Ugh, I don't know if we get another turd here. Mountain zombie. Go los. Go los. To fairy and land. Sorry, I'm late. Opponent attack. So seven, eight, nine, ten. So you need to block. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ugh. Block, block, block. Oh, this is so bad. Yeah, I don't actually know. I don't actually know if we're gonna be able to win even if we draw it now. We go to two. Another Golos. More zombies. Grow spiral. Lands and zombies. And bajuka bogs. Yeah, I think our opponent's done enough that even if we draw the land, well, we don't. All right. Well, that was a little fizzly. Uh, all right, so opponent. Plan Field of the Dead. Um, 
I don't actually know if we change anything. Like, how we win, I guess we could bring in like a flame sweep over a hoof. I mean, how we win this game is just our combo. The problem with that game is we just drew all tokens and none of our transmogrifies. And we got in a decent amount of damage with our tokens, but nowhere near enough damage to actually close out the game. And then our opponent had the language too. Uh, bad news is our opponent, I presume, is going to uh, be able to bring in more Rast, which is a little annoying. So we'd really just like to have like the turn four kill. That would be optimal as our opponent's ramping and so forth. All right, opponent. What do you got? What do we got? Okay. This hand's fine. It's kind of a six card hand because we have a hoof in it, but we do have a transmogrify. Yeah, sapling migration's good. Well, if we draw land, this could be the, the turn four kill we were looking for. Opponent land untapped. Well, land goblin gathering. Go attacking. 16. Opponent grow spirals. Oh, this is a big turd. This is a huge turd. What does our opponent have this turd? If it's not something that interacts with us, we should be able to win. Okay, that's fine. That's game. Woo! All right, that's the kill we were looking for. Opponent passes. Well, we play a land. Transmogrify. You. Yes, please. Here comes the hoof. And there goes our opponent. <laughs> opponent. Counting. Dying. And that's how we can beat Field of the Dead. Exactly like that. That is exactly the plan. Well, uh, hmm. Yeah? I guess we, uh, I guess we run it back. <laughs> like, I don't think we want to try to battle long game with this deck. I think that's exactly what our plan is, is uh, tokens, tokens, transmogrify, win the game. Like, that is, that is the setup. That's what we're trying to do. I'm sure our opponent's going to bring in more removal or something, but counters, perhaps. All right, so we're on the draw. Our hand, that is definitely not a keep. No lands, no keeps. Hmm. Not a big fan of this hand, but I guess we keep it. Well, land go. I mean, we can make tokens eventually, but we don't have Transmogrify or Luca. Opponents starting the ramp. Yeah. Uh, booted. Explores, draws a card, plays a bunch of lands. Uh huh. Sag's Fable Passage. So, opponents, I mean, they're rampant 2020 style. Plays a Teferi, oh, no. takes it up. Don't worry, I got this. Well. We will kill Teferi. Uh, it. Field of the Dead. Passes. Now, play a land. Play Tybalt. Token one. Unfortunately, we still have Transmogrify. We're at one token. So even if we draw Transmogrify, we're going to need a couple of turns. Put it, lad, zombie. Well, it has begun. Crosses. Oh, dear. Draws a bunch of cards. Well, play a mountain. Take down Tybalt. Goblin gathering. No attacks. Opponent. Kills Tybalt. Yeah. And oh two Field of the Deads. Sure. And a massacre worm. And yeah. Alright. Well, that was a pretty good draw for our opponent. Fair enough. Alright. Much brew about nothing time. We are hoofing around. All right, we're hoofing around in historic. All right, opponents on the soul worn deck. This is gonna be interesting. Uh, temple, mountain to the bottom. Well, we just gotta make enough tokens. Impassioned orator. Opponent gains life. Gets it. Hits us. Well, play a mountain and dragon fodder. Gain our opponent a bit of life. This Tybalt's going to be nice. Opponent, Castle Lockwain. And Selfless Savior, sure. Gain some life. Dawn of Hope. Gets it, heads us. I think we might be okay. Who doesn't hit us? Well, play Rootbound Craig. Play Sahili. No attacks. Put on adapts. Land. Veto. All right. I mean, so this turn's going to be painful ish. But Tybalt will shut this down. Tybalt's actually, like, just an incidental hoser here. Franks and Reclamation, opponent's out of cards. I think we're okay. Opponent, combat. Gets into Sahili, sure. No blocks. Oh, we untap. Tybalt, trigger Sahili. 
shut down that life gain. Sorry about it. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> uh, is this just game? Does our opponent just scoop? <laughs> Not yet. They're gonna they're gonna have to wait and get hoofed by the looks. So Tibalt opponent does gain life now. However, now we have Tibalt. Now we shut down the life gain. Now we make a token. Now we play a temple. Now we scry. Hoof to the bottom. We have other plans for that. And all right, your go opponent. No attacks. Got a good feeling about where we're at now. Pote it. What you got? Combat. Everything at Tybalt. Hmm. Do we let Tybalt die? Let's not. Let's block Orator. And then, so Tybalt goes to one. We ping Orator. This does mean we might not win this turn. Opponent sacks self with Savior. Sure. And I guess our opponent can just get it back, can't they? Opponent gets it back. Replays it. No life gain, though. Come on, token. All right, Forbidden Friendship is good. So play Rootbound Craig. Forbidden Friendship. Make some tokens. And this sets us up for the whammy of whammies next turn. No life gain. Okay, next turn is the turn. Next turn is the turn where we're going to have the hoof of the year. <laughs> Phone not trying to gain life, not working. We got a tip ball, pass the turn. Uh, no attacks. And all right, opponent. Well, you're gonna need removal or something because death is coming for you. Opponent, one card in hand. So if it's an instant speed removal spell, that can that can fizzle our plan. Opponent, attacks, attacks. So I think what we do is kill Vito. This incentivizes our opponent to spend all of their mana to replay Vito. No, that doesn't work. <clears throat> Soul Seer gets around indestructible. So Vito dies. Tibalt, sure, dies. All right, get back that veto. You know you need that veto, opponent. That's what your next build around. You need it. You need it. You need it. Get it back. Recast it. Tap out. Okay. Okay. I think uh, I think Hoof has arrived. And opponent's life total is high, but not high enough. Oh, this is going to be so much damage. So uh, transmogrify. You know, human sacrifice. <laughs> Hoof. There, it definitely is. Sahili, you might as well become a hoof. Uh, attack you for 100-ish. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Well, we'll bring in the shocks. We'll bring in, hmm, bring in the shocks. Go down a hoof. Oh man, that went spectacularly. Go down a hoof. Go down. Oh, can we go two? Is that too greedy? It's greedy. If we draw them, we're going to have a hard time winning. Ooh, we'll go down one Luka. We'll go seven Transmogrifies. Run it like that. We could bring in a Sweeper as well. I don't know if we need it. The awkward thing about the Sweeper in this matchup is it also sweeps away our stuff, and we don't really want to do that. The good news is I don't think our opponent has that much interaction, typically, at least instant speed interaction, so... We should be relatively good to pull off our combo kill. Um, hmm. I think we mulligan that. All right, that will keep. Well, tokens, tokens. We need two lands. If we draw two lands, we should have them. Six tokens. Transmogrify seems good. Yeah, that's a land. All right, stomping grounds go. Uh, opponent. Swamp. And orator. Yep. I'll play a land. Forbidden friendship. No attacks. Come on, land. Come on, land. Pwn it. Speaker of the heavens. Yeah, passes. That's a land. We'll play a land. Uh, forbidden friendship. No attacks. Land for opponent. Veto. All right. Well, uh, do we win this turn? So if we go right now, we'll have four creatures. So these will be 5, 10, 15. Hoof will be 9. So 24. So our opponent will have to double chump. Eh. That's probably good enough, especially since we have Luca in hand, so transmogrify, hoof, attack you. <laughs> it's a decent turn four. Opponent, chumps, gotta do more than that. And now we still have the hoof, so I think, even though I think we're gonna be like just short of winning this turn, our opponent's still gotta kill the hoof, and because we have Luca and more tokens, we can just rebuild it and, and do it again. So I think our opponent goes to like one? Yeah, opponent goes to one. Vito drains us. All right. Well, <laughs> how do you like us now? 
<laughs> Vito. <laughs> Sarah, send it. A little bit of ways from being good. If we draw land, I think we just Luka and double hoof, and that sounds hilarious. That blend. Dawn of Hope. Well, yeah, let's do it. Stopping routes, Luka. Hoof ya. And, uh, one hoof usually does it. Two hoofs always do it. <laughs> That's turn five. That's turn five. Two crater hoofs by turn five. Woo. All right. Uh, yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. All right. Much brew about nothing time. We are hoofing it up in historic. Plague sub. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to mulligan that. That hand just doesn't do anything. Oh, this is much better. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We will put, I think, Sahili to the bottom. And this looks like a hand that's a turn four win if we hit two lands in our first three turns. I mean, and also assuming our opponent can't fizzle slash counter transmogrify, but uh, this is pretty much what we're looking for. Mine is uh, an extra land. Well, Sahili to the bottom. His new lands look kind of sweet on Arena. Well, it's time grounds go. See what our opponent's up to. Temple of Malice. Ugh, sacrifice might be a tough matchup. Well, we'll play a land. Dragon fodder go. Mayhem Devil could kind of just shoot down our 1-1s really easily. That's my concern if our opponent's playing Sacrifice. Mayhem Devil in specific. Well, there's a Swamp. Burglar Rat. Well, we'll discard a Goblin Gathering. Well, Sapperling Migration. Play a land. Pass the turn. Oh, come on, land. Come on, land. Opponent. Untap land. Luris. Okay, come on, land. Come on, land. Come on, land. Well, forbidden friendship. <laughs> That's not a land. No attacks. We need a land. We need a land. <sighs> we have it set up for a great hoof, but we need the land. Pwn it. Land. Add. Okay. Okay, we just need to draw land. We just need to draw land. Discard Soul Seer. Come on, deck. Come on, deck. Come on, deck. Not the temple. We need to untap land. We got to be clear with Arena. Pwn gets it, hits us. Sure. Land. Tybalt. All right, pass the turn. So awkward. So awkward. Castle Lockwade. Opponent attacks. Unfortunately now, our opponent might have mana up, which means they might be able to fizzle. All right, Obliterator. Well, all right, there it is. Land. Transmogrify. Okay, we got there. Hoof. There it is. Swig at ya. And, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Little slower than we wanted, but... Yeah, you know, that, uh, that's pretty lethal. <laughs> 7, 40, 21, 28, 35, plus 11, 46 coming across? <laughs> could have been, uh, could have been a turn earlier if we had... If we had hit the lads, but, well, we'll take that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know if this is uh, actually a good matchup for us. What do we want... We can't really beat an obliterator. Well, I mean, we just hoof an obliterator. Let's run it back. Let's run it back. I mean, I think the way we win is to do exactly what we did there, which is make tokens. And I guess that's how we always win. <laughs> like 99% of the time, we make tokens, we transmogrify our Luka, and you die. It'll be a little harder now that our opponent knows what we're doing. One of the downsides of Transmogrify and Luka is it can be fizzled if you kill the creature in response. So that is a, is a way to get around it. And now that our opponent knows what's up, they might actually try to play around it. Um, you know what? I think we're going to keep this. This is not the fastest hand, but we have our Transmogrify. We need token production primarily. Uh, Temple. Scry. Definitely do not want Forest. I guess Tibald is kind of token production, just really slow. None of them in Legion. Two of them. Oh yeah, we draw a Crater Hoof, okay. Well, this isn't ideal. Uh, opponent, Skryland, to the top. Hits us, yeah. More lands, well, root bound Craig. Go. Oh yeah, this is so slow. This might be our hard cast Hoof game. We really need things that make tokens, opponent, untap lad. Uh, actually, that's fine, we'll discard, sure. I mean, we have a hoof to discard, so kill you. Discard hoof. Pona hits us. Oh my god, more lands. All right, pass the turn. This is so weird that we haven't drawn a way to make a token. Another Knight of the Eben Legion. Pona goes combat, attacks, pumps. Well, we will kill it. Oh my god, wow. Oh, this is... 
This is the awkwardest. Like, literally the awkwardest. <laughs> We've drawn another hoof. We still haven't drawn a single token producer. Whoa, that's so, so awkward. <laughs> Rankle for our opponent. Hits us. Attacks us. I guess we kill this knight while we have a chance. Oh my god! Oh no! This is so awkward! Wow! <laughs> well, I mean, I guess it's good to see <coughs> how things can go wrong. Opponent chooses what? Nothing. Ratchet Bomb. It's good against our tokens. No well, Goblin Gathering. Finally hit a token producer! <laughs> Unfortunately, Ratchet Bob is insane. Put on taps. Kills our tokens. Uh huh. Dreadhorde Butcher. Kaya's Ghost Form. Hits us. <laughs> oh, wow. This is a thousand percent not how our deck is supposed to work. <laughs> this is incredibly, incredibly awkward. Like, the most awkward. Opponent hits us. Well, yeah, I mean, I guess it's uh, it's good that we don't just crush everyone. Opponent goes to dorks, sacrifices. Okay. Yeah, so we are officially dead now. Well, that was... That was something. <laughs> we do have, I mean, three, six... Uh, so we have 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 token producers. And we drew one. One single token producer. And, uh, two Crater Hoofs and eight lands. <laughs> hi yi 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 Alright, well, we're on the play. There is a Ratchet Bomb to be aware of. The good news is, I don't think it's possible to draw more awkwardly than that game, so... We should, uh, we should improve just based on that. Land go. This sounds fine. Could be great, depending on what our opponent has. Knight of the Even Legion. Uh, Crater Hoof is not what we were hoping to draw, but... Forbidden Friendship. No attacks. Please, no Ratchet Bomb. Yeah, Ratchet Bomb's uh, actually really good against what we're doing. Uh, Poonit. We need a land. One more land. Dragon Skull Summit, Dreadhorde Butcher. Gets in. No blocks. Well, Sapperling Migration. Temple. Oh, please no Ratchet Bomb. Please no Ratchet Bomb. We'll keep Goblin Gathering. Go attacking. I mean, this is the turd. What does our opponent have? Please, anything but Ratchet Bomb. Land. And... Oh, okay. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll take it. Down to 15. Well, they didn't have a Ratchet Bomb. We will play a land. We will Transbogrify. We will Zach you. And uh, our deck made up a little bit for the awkwardness of last time. Hoof. There it is. Grow the dorks. Swig at ya. And good game. <laughs> Woo! Opponent. Yeah. That looks lethal to me. <laughs> oh, all right. So we had a little awkward running in between, but uh, but we made up for it with that last game. Ha! Well, uh, yeah, got him. <laughs> sweet, sweet. So what did we learn this week about Luca Hoof in Historic? And overall, the deck was really good. We ended up going 4-1 and one with Luca Hoof. We did lose to a Golos Field deck that got us with a Massacre Worm. Uh, but we also beat a Golos Field deck. And we beat Rakdos deck, Soul Sisters, and an Elves deck. So Luca Hoof, it is really powerful. I consider this deck sort of the Char Belcher, the Goblin Char Belcher of the Historic format. We're really all in on our combo. We're all in on the tokens. We're all in on winning the game on turn four, on turn five with Transbogrify or Luka. So we are very all in, and there are ways things can go wrong. If our opponent can take and uh, have instant speed removal, so when we go to Transmogrify a token, they kill it, that can really set us back. Because like I said, our deck is really all in on this combo. So we're a deck that's designed to do one thing, and it does that thing really well, really consistently. Yes, it can be answered and controlled matchups could be a little bit rough, I would assume, or any deck that's playing just an overload of instant speed removal. On the other hand, if our opponent doesn't have it, 
they just die on turn four game over crater hoof tokens can't really do anything about it so i really like this deck and how it plays the one thing i will say after playing the deck a while a card that i wish i had added to the deck is castle Embrith. i think our backup plan with the deck is beating down with one ones unfortunately it takes a lot of attacks with one ones to win the game because they're only one ones so i feel like having something like castle Embrith to maybe speed up the clock of the backup token beatdown plan could be a nice addition and it's kind of close to a free roll should come into play tap most of the time so that's a card i'm interested in adding to the deck but in general the deck is fast the deck is consistent yes sometimes you get blown out by instant speed removal but in matchups where your opponent doesn't have a lot of instant speed removal or if your opponent just doesn't happen to have it at the right time it's not like you gotta cast transmogrify into open black mana or like open blue mana you could just wait and kind of like beat down with tokens and make tokens with planeswalkers and wait for your opponent to eventually go shields down and then pounce win the game on the spot that turn so that's luka Oof. That is Crater Hoof doing insane things in Historic. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.